Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now March 19th of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2 and the Gina Carano firing, a lot of fans around the world have been very much skeptical about the future of Star Wars by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni and whether or not they can really pull things off when it comes to this massive universe that they're all putting together. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, we have all witnessed before in the past of exactly what Kathleen Kennedy has done to the overall Star Wars franchise. We have all seen that she is nothing more than a force of destruction of what she did with the sequel trilogy, what she did with the solo of Star Wars story box office results, and more. Now, obviously, as we head into this new expanded universe, which, by the way, we're already hitting the top of the iceberg, right? The tip of the iceberg, I should say. Um, we have a dozen Star Wars projects in the works already on Disney+, Plus, and we're going to get more announcements of new TV shows this fall and more announcements of other TV shows next year at Star Wars Celebration in 2022. So... A lot of fans out there think that Disney might be overdoing it when it comes to the amount of TV shows that are coming out because, well, you know, we do have already 12, around 12, announced. Now, on top of that, we're going to get more and more. Now, keep in mind that a lot of those shows are going to be limited TV series, and what I mean by that is they're going to be like a one-season TV show, kind of like WandaVision. You know, if you guys have seen WandaVision, you're not getting a season two with that. It's just a one season TV show and that's it. So a lot of the TV shows that were announced are going to be just like that. However, what's really intriguing all has to do with Kathleen Kennedy and what's going on behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm when it comes to a Star Wars TV show. Now specifically, of course, now that both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are busy developing their new Star Wars universe, such as Kenobi, Andor and the Ahsoka series for starters, they are also falling into some setbacks for The Mandalorian since the Gina Carano firing back some weeks ago. However, it's noted that recently many changes have been made behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm by Kathleen Kennedy herself who has recently applied a major change to the Star Wars roadmap. It's best described that Kathleen Kennedy for the past number of months was not only working on the Acolyte series, but also a brand new animated series that was set to star actress Brie Larson as Maeve in her own Star Wars TV show. This was in the process of getting canceled for a very long time by Bob Chapek and the higher-ups over at Disney, and that this was Kathleen Kennedy's original attempt of creating her own Star Wars universe to stack up something different in comparison to what Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni were creating. Kathleen Kennedy recently canceled the major Star Wars TV series that she was aiming to drop sometime in 2023, and that the cancellation was enforced by the higher-ups over at Disney that were not feeling the tone and direction of the TV show. Now, the series was going to focus on Maeve and Geode the Rock as the main character in the new animated series that would use lifelike animation in the show and would be set to take place before the events of the Acolyte series, bringing fans earlier into the High Republic era. This was a show dubbed as Star Wars High Republic Adventures, was the working title by Kennedy, and was going to be unveiled later this year, before she went on to cancel the show since she was being forced to do so through the higher-ups over at Disney. Now, the thing about this that's very important that a lot of fans absolutely need to know is that this was all Kathleen Kennedy's early attempt at creating her own universe. In fact, even before this, she tried to create her own universe with Ryan Johnson when he was still working on The Last Jedi and when he still had a lot of different plans that were put into place for Disney Plus before that was canceled. So this is the latest example of Kathleen Kennedy being forced to cancel a major Star Wars TV series by higher ups over at Disney. We've talked about how there is a great divide over at Lucasfilm between the employees. There's also a divide between Disney higher ups, the board of Disney we're talking about, not just the CEO Bob Chapek. But the board of Disney, there's also a great divide in there on how they view the direction of Star Wars and where it's going. There's obviously a side that is sided with Favreau's direction and others that are more in support of Kathleen Kennedy's vision of Star Wars. And we have seen this time and time again. 
obviously, when we go ahead and check out what Kathleen Kennedy has done to the sequel trilogy, a lot of fans are just fed up with Star Wars, I understand that. But what John and Dave are pushing right now with the Kenobi series and the Ahsoka series and more, I think that we really are, you know, waiting for something that's going to be pretty much historic when it comes to Star Wars. Again, the Kenobi series is being treated like an actual movie. They're going to make it like an actual sequel to that of Revenge of the Sith. Yes, it is a limited series, keep in mind. But it's also going to continue the events of other aspects of Star Wars that we have yet to see. They're going to fill in the gaps there. So here's the thing what I think about High Republic Adventures. This big project that was cancelled just recently and finalized the cancellation by Kathleen Kennedy being forced by the higher-ups over at Disney. Now, the thing about this is that we obviously know that the High Republic is not a respected era by Star Wars fans. And there's a reason to that. It's very much driven by identity politics and it's very much driven by Kathleen Kennedy's own agendas and more. I mean, what else can we really say, right? So the High Republic has probably one of the most infamous characters in there, Geode the Rock, all right? I don't even know why they called him Geode, because he's not even a Geode. They even got that wrong, but I digress. The fact that they were going to make this character into live-action form, number one, in the Acolyte, and Kathleen Kennedy's still trying to do that, but... They're also at one, they were also at one point in time pushing for him to be in an animated form in a lifelike style in the High Republic Adventures TV show that was going to be driven by, you know, Kathleen Kennedy and having Brie Larson in her own solo TV show that would be based on her character in the Acolyte series, Maeve. If you guys are unaware about Maeve, from what we have been talking about for the past six months, is that this character is going to be a Jedi god, in a sense. Created by the Wills, which by the way are deities, or gods if you will, that watch over all the events of Star Wars. So, those beings were created by George Lucas well before A New Hope even came out into theaters. And this is exactly why they're using a lot of concepts by George Lucas, and kind of using the concepts in the wrong way. I feel that making a Jedi a god is just a little too out there, in my opinion, in my book. It just does not work, but that's just my opinion. Moving on from this, this is a very interesting development right now, is that Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland, we have talked about how they also have fallen into creative differences on the Acolyte series and how that too created some setbacks, you know, with the overall direction of the show and how a lot of those differences are being pretty much settled out now and it's kind of bringing them back on track to dropping the show on Disney Plus next year in 2022. Again, they aim to begin filming by the end of this summer, which means they got to complete the script by the beginning of the summer. And if they can get that in line and get the sets built fast, they can pull it off. But I don't think they're going to, going to. That seems a little too rushed. It seems like that this show is either going to be delayed till 23, or what would be the best case scenario for a lot of fans out there is if it just got canceled. A lot of fans are just not feeling this show just based on the fact that Kathleen Kennedy is the one running the entire show on a creative level until June. So keep in mind about that. This is a High Republic TV show, make no mistake. The Acolyte series, yes, the premise may sound a little interesting to some. How it's about the rise of dark side powers and emerging dark side forces and stuff around those lines. But it's based at the very end of the High Republic, right before the Phantom Menace comes into the equation. So obviously, there is going to be a lot of aspects from the comics inserted into there including Geo the Rock, which, by the way, is Kathleen Kennedy's big plan in order to make him in live action. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.